Welcome back to Forza 6, ladies and gentlemen, where we are continuing with our career. Much happier now that we're racing during the daytime and we can actually see more than three feet in front of our cars. <laughs> Jokes! Uh, I can't... whoops, I can't decide which of the third-person cameras is my favorite. Whoa, beef! All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's all right, that's all right, we're fine. Oh, now we're getting spun out, now we're getting spun out! Ooh, Beef made it through there unscathed. Whoops, I'm scathed! All right, it's really terrible. <laughs> I mean, I know it's kind of a realistic... I mean, I suppose if you're on slicks, it's realistic. Which I don't think I'm on slicks, because I was unable to update my car. But when you touch the grass, you, uh, you forever live in the grass. <laughs> there is no getting out of that. Alright, everybody, let's, uh, try to hit the pedal on the right. Bleh. Out of the way. Out of the way, I like your mom. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> oh my god. All right, now that we're out of the cluster fuffle, that was that. We can finally make it up front, make it up front where we can watch first and second place run away with it. All right, where's this breaking point? All right, don't go in the grass again, please. Whoa there. All right, that's fine. Hi, I'm here now. Okay. Oh, I should have slowed down. All right, keep your speed up. There we go. We're fine. Let me just cut that corner. No problem. Oh, damn. I'm wondering if it's the, uh... the arcade steering that I have, but, like, there's a, a fine... a fine delay between my steering inputs and the car actually responding. I mean, I know it's a giant boat as well that I'm driving, but I felt the same thing with the Jaguar F-Type. Pretty much every other car I've raced. Dorift! Don't I get, like, a perfect drift there? Five laps! <laughs> Alright, use this guy to drift. I know he's in a very small car that probably leaves a little aerodynamic wake. Oh, they're all hogging the inside. Beep, 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 beep! Oh my gosh. A true battle. Woo! Oh, not this again. Oh, oh! It's magic! Watch out, get back on the road. Hi. All right, just use all the track. Pretty sure that's cheating. Oh no, my lap time is going to have a little exclamation point next to it in the leaderboards. Whatever will I do? Damn it. Woo. 
Alrighty then. And there he goes. He's suddenly got a burst of speed that he didn't have before. Whoops, I did not mean second first gear there. Right, just glide it through here. There we go. There we go. That's the way to do it. Of course, now I have no indication of my braking points because there's nobody in front of me anymore. First place problems. Ooh, but that's the way to take that little chicane there, whatever that is. Ugh, that is a tight turn. Maybe first gear is more in order for that turn. I feel like I'm going really slow because I really don't know how fast I should be going. Also, grass! Good turn while I was squealing around sideways. Alright, I'm starting to to get it in my head that I should turn well before I think I should, just based on the delay. Let's try the in-car view with the big old steering wheel. It's like a three-foot wide steering wheel. Of course, now my my perspective is all different, and I'm not sure where the turns are. Got it. Getting in a groove. It only takes five laps, but I finally get it. Dramatic music. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> Alright. I really wish I could install a little bit more grippy tires. I mean, I can, but you have to, like, it's really weird. In all the other Forza games, like, when you buy a car, you get the option, would you like to tune this car or whatever? Like, right there, in, in the in the process of things. But here, you just buy a car and you paint it, and then, okay, you're in your race. You have to exit out to the main menu, go three pages over to your My Car Garage and then be able to edit it and then come back to your series only to find out that you've over... <laughs> you've over upgraded your car and uh, you've got to degrade it now. you got to degrade it. You're ugly and terrible and nobody likes you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Weirdo. Alright, let's take a look at the leaderboards. Well, see, now that's weird. In what series was Beef driving? I'm in the top 99%. I think you mean the bottom. <laughs> if I was in the top 1%, that would be a, a magical thing. But the top 99%? Yeah, I'm like, what, what series was Beef? He's playing the career mode. He was driving a Mustang. I would assume it would have been this. Oh, unless he raced it in one of the other... Like, I'm in the Daybreak series. Maybe he raced it in the Nighttime series or the... Although I don't think he raced the Nighttime series yet. Your next race we'll see how that goes. Rio de Janeiro. All right. Now we are in Rio de Janeiro, the, the fake track that they've added to the game. They've just invented. And we've enabled the cockpit view only since I liked it so much in the last race. Cockpit view only... 
playing card, and... Which might have been a mistake, since I don't know this track. And the, like, a credit booster or something. Whoa, people! Oh, that, that, that that's kind of a fake-out turn. It looks like it's going to be a left-hander. Oops, it's a right-hander. Or, no, it looked like it was going to be a right-hander, and it was actually a left-hander. That shows how much I recognize. That's a wall. He's pushing me into a wall. He's pushing me. All right, we've got kind of a weird kink here to the left. That was beef. Oh, we we're going three wide through there. Oh, I think I put somebody into the wall there. Because we were still three wides. And I didn't budge. Hello? I've got to run on you! St. Louis sidestep? Oh, didn't leave me enough room to sidestep him. All right, this track doesn't make any sense. If you could just corner cut like that, that's fine, that's fine. We got paragliders. Hang gliders, paragliders. Yep, just cut through those cones. No penalties will be issued. They just place those cones for your own enjoyment. You can choose to hit them or dodge them, depending on your preference. Oh, this was a bigger turn than I thought. Owie. Uh, I did uh, reduce my front air pressure two pounds, hoping to give myself a little bit of bite into a corner. I'm not feeling it too much, though. A little bit more responsive steering, since I was complaining about that. Oh, it's dark. Turn on your headlights. And we're drifting. We're drifting. Okay, this is a straightaway. Got it. And then a sharp hard left is coming up. Oh, I've, I've overcooked my front. Although that actually should just then equalize the pressure, am I right? A big sweeping right-hander. Oh, thanks for uh, slowing me down there. That really helped. Uh, do I need to slow down here? I don't think so. I think it's... Wa oh, God. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Owie! All right. Yep, yep, yep. That's the thing that's happening. Over the cobblestone here. That's not good for grip. Alright, pretty wide sweeping right into a weird left kink. I'm my own co-driver. Oh, that was a bigger kink. Ow. Let's try that again. I can't deal with damage or whatever. Can't deal with it. Uh, from here... Can't deal with it. Got an easy left and do a hard left. That is how you take that turn. There's a mist in the jungle. Oh, that sharpened, sharpened. That was a right four that sharpened three. <laughs> I 
This turn was tighter than I thought it was. Ow! Whoa! These cable car, trolley car rails are messing up. Whoa! Where am I? Where am I? Okay. It's a kink left. Kinky. Wall on the outside. There we go. All right, try to finesse it. Uh, this is the opposite of finesse. But it's fun. Funness. Ah. Oh, God. I, like, thought that there was a, the, a right-hander there. It was a really crazy illusion. Oh, well, I thought I was going slow enough for that turn, but I guess not. It's times like these that I think I should increase the difficulty. But then there are other times when first place really just runs away with it, and I'm like, nah, eh, maybe not. I am on highly skilled. I started the series on expert and did okay. But I'm not a huge fan of, oh, if you don't get in the top three, then you can't continue with the video game. If it was more of a, like, points-based system or something like that, I might be more inclined to take chances. Just for the sake of the let's play, I don't want to have to be redoing a bunch of races. Kink right. Not too bad. I could get a. I could get used to being behind the wheel of one of these things. Oh, there's people out there like waving flags. I didn't notice them before. How nice of you to participate in this wacky event. Wow, now I'm the guy with the unfair advantage here, like I was just saying. Huh. Huh. Oh, except for right here, I don't... Uh. Trying to be persistent on the throttle, but it's really hard. Uh, whoopsies. Uh oh. We ran out of music. We were literally ran out of music. Oh, there it is. It's back. <laughs> oh, God. There's a plane going down. Uh, I don't want to alarm anybody. Uh, pump the brakes. Okay, there we go. We're fine. That actually worked better than I anticipated. <laughs> I didn't know pumping the brakes. We gotta be our own analog brake system. And across the line, why don't we? Whoa! <laughs> really screw up the uh, AI that takes over the car. Enhanced payout, an extra 3,000 credits. I was thinking of, like, waiting for, like, a later race to use that, because I'm sure the races start to pay out more and more, am I right? But, oh well. I, I want to spin. Ooh. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? The Koenigsegg. Oh, that was a little bit of a delayed last-minute choice. I think it said you can sell the cars for half their value? 
Am I thinking of that right? Or am I thinking of a different game? I don't know. Uh, let's... See, what did we do today? We did two races. Uh, um, I was gonna do like a showcase event, but let's just finish out this series at the next race. Alright, the final race here at Road Atlanta. And I've swapped out the cockpit cam only in exchange for increased shift time as a as a dare. Really doesn't seem like that big a difference on this old car. I'm gonna try out hood view for a little bit. Easy now. The those oh, slipping by. Oh, it's the full road Atlanta here, or at least not one we've raced yet in this game. Getting in on your inside there, whoops. All right, shifted too soon there. It was actually a wheel spin that I saw. But up in the fourth. Yeah, I don't know. It's very, it's very finicky as to whether or not I should increase the difficulty. I mean, it only earns me an extra 5% return on my investment. Alright, I saw them breaking super early into the chicane, so I was like, oh god. We did have a bunch of speed. Perhaps these cars can't stop in time. Power through? Yes! I like that turn. That is a turn that I can do well. Alright. Alright, maybe not first gear there. I was a little bit concerned. It's blind! Alright. Don't mind if I do, I got this track down like the back of my hand. Slapping against the front of your face. Oops, too early on the throttle there. Uh, not early enough on the brakes there. In the uh, previous episode, we heard from our friend and current Formula One <laughs> teammate, uh, Cone Dodger, saying how wrong they got Road Atlanta, apparently a track he's been to quite frequently in real life. And I would agree, they tend to Forza Horizon up the, uh, the kind of the scenery and the grandstands, like all those people, I don't think there would be that many people at the entire track to spectate this event. They've got all these crazy tents and floaty bobbly hand guys and little balloons. He, he went on to say that it's really, it's not a huge party outside of these races. Even sorry, I'm kind of concentrating as well. Even uh, you know, it would have to be a, a big top tier 
national event like your 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 Indy cars or your NASCARs, but even in that case, it is not at all like this around the racetrack. It's mostly just a bunch of old white dudes, really. <laughs> this is the, the vast majority of, of what you see at race events, which is an unfortunate thing, and I don't, I don't know whose fault that is, but uh, it's not this big, certainly not like Forza Horizon, good lord, <laughs> that game. There's no raves going on around racetracks. But, uh, but yeah, a little bit of false advertising there. So you, you speak of those, those national events, your, your NASCARs, your IndyCars, or whatever, even Formula One or whatever. Uh. For a smaller, like, local event, some specialty event like this, this race, you could imagine this race being about, it would really, it's mostly just local people and the, the people, the relatives of the people in the race, you know, it's not really, quick everybody, let's all gather around like it's some sort of Super Bowl event, pack the grandstands, Whoa, that's a retaining wall that's showing up quick. Who knows? It's very hard for me to construct proper sentences about these thoughts when I'm trying to not fly into the grass. Whoops. Alright, it, it might be time for a difficulty upgrade, though. So, perhaps in the next series, of course, we are going to be choosing a different... ...a different car, and we're going to be in a di You know, it seems like it's a lot more difficult with the faster cars, the... ...the F-types, the race cars and whatnots. With style! With style on the grass. But, uh, I think it might be at least worth a shot to make it a little bit more competitive. And, uh, I don't know why I, like, put my controller, like, away like I was done. No, no, you, you still have buttons to press. Uh, so, so look forward to that next time. Let's actually look at... Let's look at the leaderboards, but then let's look at... Nope, yeah, nobody else has raced this. Then let's look at, uh, what our options are for the future here. The European Tour. I feel like I should get a European car. And there's six races. And there's also a long loading screen. I was going to try to give you guys like a teaser of what's available, but this episode's already kind of long. European tracks are some of the oldest in the world. I'm sure they are. They are ancient. Uh, so I probably want to choose... Like, modern... The 80s was a rev I don't care, Richard Hammond. Hammond! Ooh, I have an NSX. Although I wouldn't buy an NSX. So what would we actually buy? An Audi Avant is interesting. As long as it isn't the mid-2000s V8 edition. That always... Has some problems with the timing chain, but, uh, Buick? Okay, we're gonna go for, like, European here. Uh, oh, is there an Audi TT? Is there an Audi TT? Or are all these four-door cars? No. Because an Audi TT is another fun car. I would consider a free Honda NXX. I already have one, thank you. 
No Audi TTs? Do we have any Audi TTs? We got the Japanese cars. Oh, I must have already gone through the Audis. I guess not. That's a shame. Um, yeah. Ooh. I could have... I have the old <laughs> Z car. I, I could get the new one. Although I don't know that I would ever buy that. Like, even if I had... 10 million dollars or whatever, I wouldn't... I would probably not buy a, a, a Lamborghini Countach. Is that how you pronounce it? Or even a Ferrari or anything? What would Kurt buy? Probably the BMW, honestly. Uh, ooh, or the M3. Maybe I'll go with the M3, because that's a car we race in a set of Corsa, and I think it's kind of cool. So maybe we'll go with the M3, but you'll have to wait for the next episode to find out. Thanks so much for watching.